Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly, and uh, I've got a good one for you today. I am in Newport Coast, California, at a place called Pelican Hill. It's a beautiful resort, really nice. And uh, we're going to talk about things that you're really not allowed to know, okay? It's the theme on this one. But uh, before I get into it, please take a second. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget, we just had an email go out. If you guys are on the email list, check your spam filter. Make sure you're getting the emails and make sure you sign up for that list. And today we have a sponsor, Patriot Gold. But uh, let's get right into it. Nuriel Rabini is an economist who successfully called the 2008 crash. And Mr. Rabini has been harping on the bank situation. He's been talking about how completely upside down the banks are. And he says right now that people need to understand that the banks are basically insolvent right now. And that when you look at this, if people understood this, they would running for the hills. So most of the small banks, he says, have this problem where they're not making any money. The loans are bad. They've invested into treasury bonds and they are not making money right now. And with this, it's just a, a freight train that's going to end up crashing. But with the job numbers that just came out, we're officially entering, you know, a period of stagflation, okay? Which is low demand, high inflation, and high unemployment. And one thing that they've talked about to fix, you know, inflation right now is high unemployment. If you don't think that this is coming and going to get worse, you're kidding yourself. I have talked to so many big companies and so many people that work at big companies that have said that they are worried about their job. And you should be. You need to be concerned about what's going on right now because big companies are tired of paying people. We heard about GM earlier in the week. Now Walmart steps forward and Walmart is cutting back on 2,300, 2,300 warehouse workers around the country. Goodbye. Less staff, less demand. Okay. Plus here's the other thing with Walmart that's, that's staggering right now is they want to buy uh, 2025 they want to have 65% of their business be automated to where you'll walk into a Walmart and you'll barely speak to somebody. Isn't this nice? Got the kids swimming in the pool behind me. Just a beautiful resort up here. But first things first, Walmart cutting back like this, this is not, it's not a good sign, guys, for the economy right now. We need the Walmarts. We need the discount stores. And, uh, I don't know, they're doing everything they can right now to make these changes and uh, just a matter of time until, you know, everybody, you know, realizes how serious this is. Bob Lee, who was the founder of Cash App, who was a, a tech entrepreneur in Silicon Valley, uh, was stabbed to death walking through the streets of San Francisco. This is going to kill, officially, San Francisco because... The fact that, that it's so dangerous that somebody could go and a guy like that could be taken out is awful. It's horrific. It's horrific anywhere, but nothing's going to be done about this. And if you think that businesses are going to continue to you know, move to San Francisco or have a conference there, have meetings there, no way. More people, okay, it was just announced, more businesses that are having people work remotely. That's the death of a city, guys. You need to have an infrastructure. You need to have people going to the restaurants. You need to have people shopping, getting their shoes shined, getting, go to the dry cleaners, go to the nail salon, buy dresses, buy clothes, buy everything, you know, go to the FedEx office store and, and do that around your office. No, it's going to be dead. You're going to see more and more places go out of business as a result of this. Crime in these cities, nobody wants to talk about. Okay, it's horrific. To absolutely hurt. Why would you want to live there? Why would you visit there? Why would you go and vacation in San Francisco? It used to be so beautiful. Fisherman's Wharf and that whole area used to be so fun. All the restaurants and everything. I bet you it's a ghost town there. I've been there in three years and I never want to go back after the last time I was there. Never want to go back there. So, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? The ocean. You got Catalina. That's, that's that uh, island that you could see from the uh, a couple of videos ago when I was at uh, uh, Badlands Park, that was, that's pretty cool. So there's that. The Fed, you know, 
they've put themselves into a corner right now as far as the interest rates and the interest rate uh, raises that they've done. Are they going to be able to stop? Can they fix the economy? No. Who, who believes that these people have a plan for any of this right now? Because nothing they've done has worked right now. And all you're hearing about more is more and more massive uh, layoffs right now and more and more companies with problems, which brings forward Apple. Apple right now, think about this. How much cash does Apple have right now? $165 billion in cash. Cash, cash, cash. Man, I'm telling you, if you own a business, if you own anything, and you think that you'd be a good fit for Apple to buy, you should contact uh, Mr. Case as soon as possible because, man, I'm telling you, that place, they are trying to acquire things and they think that they're going to go in the mergers and acquisition space real soon. Isn't this beautiful? Just nice up here. You know, they got meeting rooms and conference areas and things like that up here too. And oh, there's the pool for you guys. You can see that back behind me. But uh, just a beautiful spot. Nice restaurant, stuff like that. But uh, the golf is really nice out here. And uh, the weather's good when it's like this. So, you know, but again, Apple, you know, Apple did something smarter than other companies that they don't talk about. And that is that they didn't hire people. They hired people on basically a 1099 contract situation uh, for their companies or independent contractors and things like that. And then just didn't renew contracts. So instead of having a layoff, instead of having 50 people work on a project, they'll have 12 work on a project. But they have all this money right now. And they're going to go on a buying spree, they think. So the other thing is you're starting to see, um, you know, interest rates are going up for savings accounts. But people have written me and said, hey, how come they're not, you know, how come if interest rates are higher, how come I'm only getting 1% at the bank? Because the overnight rate, great article below I found for you guys, talking about how basically it takes a year to get caught up to interest rates when they spike like this. So the banks aren't stupid. They're going to make money on us any way they can. And if they don't pay us interest and they can wait on doing that, it's to their advantage. So for those of you out there, you know, constantly look for different ways to save money, diversify, have things in different locations, talk to your financial, you know, your planner. And, and again, I have people, doesn't matter how much money you make. Do you pay taxes? Yes, we all do. Get some advice and making sure that you're getting the most amount of deductions and that you're handling things properly. And you may spend a couple hundred bucks to do this, but you could save yourself tens of thousands of dollars. And I've never had somebody go to one of those meetings, come back and say, what a waste of money, Dan. This guy told me everything I was doing was perfect. No one's ever said that to me. So we get all this extra time this year to file our taxes, make sure you have all the proper deductions and do that for you. But, uh, you know, crime in San Francisco, I'm never going to fix that. Look at this up here, all these hedges up here. Isn't this cool? It's absolutely stunning and beautiful. You know, you can have a nice $300,000 wedding up here, I'm sure. You know, that you cater it, you can have all that stuff. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Gold right now, four stories sent to me about how gold is going to spike right now. We're seeing gold going to hit its new high. It's going to go over uh, uh, $2,050. We saw that in 2020, and we're going to see it happen again. But experts are saying great numbers now. We're seeing $2,500, $2,800, $3,000 an ounce, and they all make good arguments for this. But take a look below on how the experts think because of how bad the economy is and these job numbers and how the reality has to set in where people have to accept the fact that things are not so good right now, that you're going to need a hedge. And yeah, you can go Bitcoin and you can do all that stuff and all these people are making money on Bitcoin and I'm getting that shoved down my throat every day. But uh, Bitcoin, you guys are going to freak out, still hasn't been proven yet through an economic downturn. So, you know. I, at the end, I love JP Morgan. You know, it's backed by nothing. I want things that are backed by the central banks of the world. Okay, great. Mark my word. I'm telling you this right now. I've said it for a year. Jamie Dimon's going to have the JP Morgan coin someday. You're going to see that. And it's going to be so much safer because it's run by our fine financial institution. Okay? So, you know, share your thoughts on that. But where do you think gold's headed to? 
think it's going to go to 3,000. I think we'll see anything like that. I think we're going to see crazy numbers in the future. But the instability of the world right now, the instability of the stock market, the instability of the housing market, everything is just on its way to the moon right now. One thing, one thing that we are seeing right now with real estate is we are seeing massive um, amounts of discounts here in Southern California. We are starting to see things that wouldn't move, but they're getting creative. Josh Altman from the Altman Brothers, uh, you know, million dollar listing. When the million, when the five percent, four, four to five and a half percent tax came into play before April 1st, he was making deals that were crazy. People were throwing in, you take my boat and I'll throw in the house. You know, you, uh, you can have two weeks at my vacation home if you buy the house and close escrow and put the deal together. Crazy, crazy things happening. This is the beginning of that. And again, I told everybody, look at going out and what do you want to buy? Where do you want to live? What do you want to buy? Go out and start working your own deal right now. Look at this. You know, I have a family member who is looking at a house and she's like, you know what? I'm going to go look in that neighborhood. Goes up and down the street and looking for rentals. And I want to live within these quadrants. You got a rental here. I want to live here. I'll sign a six month to a year lease. And the idea with it is to get the feel for the neighborhood. Thinks it's great. But once you live there, then you're going to know it. Then she'll know to buy a house in that neighborhood. And guess what? The housing prices in this city are going down. But another family member that recently had their Twitter account hacked and, uh, you know, trying to reach out to customer service, non-existent. There is no customer service. So a real problem. But this led me to look at other things. Hey, is this happening all, all around? Well, it's happening at Meta. It's happening at Facebook. You know, people have issues trying to get a hold of Facebook and there's no Facebook phone number. Call Facebook. Send me the Facebook phone number, guys. There's no Facebook phone number except for one that I found. And the idea with this is that if you have the Oculus, the, their headset, you know, if you go buy the Oculus headset, they have a customer service phone number and you can talk to somebody. Okay. So shenanigans, yes. But is it worth, like, let's say somebody lost their account and you wanted to speak to somebody, that would get you to customer service. Okay. But all these big companies, they're getting rid of all these people and they don't have anybody. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Just very cool. You know? You know what's crazy? It still amazes me though. Hey, that guy's just walking around filming himself. You know? <laughs> it's all the different events you can have up here. It's great. That's the one thing. When I was in the conference business, you know, you try to have something, you try to have good food, you try to have someplace safe, especially for women at night, if it's dark, you want them to be able to come and have security and have all that stuff. But man, oh man, oh man, you have people. When I had my January conference and you could have a view like this, I would run on the beach and I would make commercials and film them of me and my friends running on the beach to come to my conference because people back east, snowing and it's freezing and they see some idiot in the beach running with uh uh you know the sun shining people would come out and then absolutely love it because of that so that's cool so you're not supposed to accept this stuff you're not supposed to think about how bad things are how precarious they are i am telling you this right now take this advice get your finances in order Get your, your, your money in order right now. Get your bills in order and, and you will be better off right now because the instability of these banks, the instability of employers, they're going to start cutting people back. We're starting to hear things where people are, you know, you know, working more, getting paid less. That's happening, which again, you know, here in California, this is such an employee state, employee state that I'm telling you, if your boss yells at you, you got money coming. You know, it's just one of those states that you can sue everybody for everything if you work for anybody. So um, the problem with it is that they're just cutting people back and playing with their, their money. So there's a lot more to cover.
Let me get you guys out here. Let's talk about our sponsor, Patriot Gold Group. You know, think about this, guys. The crash of 2023 is here. The instability of the stock market is all around us. The banks, who knows what's going to happen with that. But I'll tell you one thing, I don't feel safe. So one thing that I've done is I've looked at 401ks and IRAs that are backed by physical metals. You should too. The best place to do that is Patriot Gold Group. Call them today, 888-330-1431. They have a free investor guide. It's absolutely no obligation, no fee for life, IRA and 401k. But think about this, guys. Do what billionaires are doing. Do what central banks are doing, and they are buying gold. But look at all these experts. Look at this video. Look at the stories below. And they're talking about how you're going to see gold go to an all-time high. You don't want to miss out on this. Contact Patriot Gold today, 888-330-1431. It's absolutely no obligation. But uh, best-in-class service, number one rated, seven years in a row. And there's a reason for that, guys. You know, they got great service and they know what they're doing, but you need to look at physical metals in your portfolio and also in your IRA and 401k. Call them today before it's too late. Here's the thing, guys, that nobody wants to look at. Even the government workers aren't safe right now. When people hear about postal workers, they think, oh, you know, they're all government workers. Think about this. Tabitha, very pretty name, Tabitha sent me uh, a great story about the uh, U.S. Postal Service and also told me about herself and her husband. Think about this. Her husband shows up last Saturday and they say, hey, new contract, new rules. Uh, you're going to now work 11 days for every 14 days on the calendar instead of 10 out of 14. In other words, five days, okay, and then two days off. That would be 10 out of 14 instead of 11 out of 14. So you get an extra Saturday in there or whatever day we feel, okay? So there's that. But also, you're going to take an $8,000 a year pay cut. Okay? Huh? What are you talking about? Okay? Isn't that crazy? Tabitha, she gets cut back to where she's only getting 24 hours a week. So they don't have to pay her overtime. They don't have to give her benefits. She's been with the post office for 24 years, and this is how they're treating her. It's horrible, guys. Absolutely horrible. So I won't say her husband's first name because it'll just, you know, don't know who it is, <laughs> okay? But, uh, guys, it's awful, okay? But that's the thing. People sit there and they think, oh, government workers. Dan, have you ever been to the DMV? They're, they're horrible. Once again, okay? Not everybody's doing well, but wait a second. You know what's going to happen based on this story that she sent me is that you're going to start to see your mail not get delivered. Oh, you know, Dan, I don't think it's going to get that bad. Yeah, it is because these people are walking out. They have bills to pay too, like the rest of us. Everybody's got bills to pay. Everybody's got to get through these difficult times right now and, and, and work, okay? And get paid, you know, at the end of two weeks. So they're cutting them back to where they're getting, you know, $8,000 less a year. How awful is that? Okay. And you're going to work further. The other thing that I got sent to me was miles of walking. Okay. Some postal routes, they don't get to drive to, they've got to push the cart. So you have some communities that based on the mileage that they're doing, multiple miles are added a day on their routes. Isn't that crazy to think about? So you got some guy pushing the cart and oh, Harry's fit. He'll, he'll do good. He'll, he'll like the other two miles a day. Okay. You have to make all the stops too. So it's crazy. So are you seeing this? Are you seeing your job cut back and do this? This is a global slowdown that we're not supposed to, you know, we're not allowed to really talk about this stuff, but it's happening. It's happening to everything. It's happening to the post office. And, you know, the post office has its own problems. We always hear this. It's funny, right around ho the holidays, they always talk about how broke they are and how they need more money and they're not making money. Okay, but once again, I don't care what you do, okay? You have to make sure that people are happy. Going to Anaheim Stadium, where the Angels play. It's a cashless place, okay? They got the home opener, just happened. Okay, I love going there. 
one thing that was very disturbing to me, and I lost my mind last season with the angels, was when you go up there, they say, hey, do you want to leave a tip? And these workers that were working there, well, I'm a temp, so I don't get the tips. It goes to the pool of everybody else. You're the one giving me service. If you don't do this, I'm going to make sure I contact the labor board about this. Oh, well, don't do that. Let me, well, let me make sure that, you know, I don't think you understood what she was telling you. No, she told me she didn't get tips because she's only here half the time. And we're tipping the person we're getting service from, not somebody else in the back room. So they give the tips to everybody. And again, if you work at these stadiums or you work anyplace else and you get these tips, again, they make very little hourly wage. You don't have to tip it. I, you know, I, I get all these different things about, you know, is it fair that these people turn these things in front of you? And do you want to tip? It's all based on a smile, how happy you are. You know, you're at a ball game. Give them a couple bucks. It's not going to kill you. You're already spending, you know, $14 on a Diet Coke and $18 on a beer. So you could give them something. Okay. But I lost it when certain people didn't get that money. So I was told like a month later, yeah, we all get it now. Isn't that great? Yeah, you better. So, you know, again, when do you do this to somebody that, that you're standing next to the person next to you? He gets more hours, he gets paid differently, and gets the tips and you don't. It's terrible. Share your thoughts on this stuff, guys. I'm going on a ranch right now. I'm going to finish this video with these last few stories. And uh, once again, don't pay attention to this. You're not allowed to know this. It's no big deal. What's the biggest demand right now in banking right now for hiring? High-end banks. Okay? This is disturbing. It's people that can do restructuring, people that can handle bankruptcies, people that can handle uh, economic downturns, you know, layoffs and how to restructure a company. If you have that experience, especially with anything to do with banking, man, you can make some serious money right now. But what that should tell each and every one of us is that these people know that this is the beginning of the end and that the banks are going to have major problems. You have that to look forward to, okay? The Hamptons, you know, beautiful place to go and uh, go out and visit and, you know, it's luxury and just, just ask them, they'll tell you how nice it is. Uh, the average house at the Hamptons finally dropped in price for the first time since 2019 to $1.6 million, okay? Peasants, you know, terrible. But again, real estate is dropping. You're going to see more and more foreclosures like we talked about a couple days ago where you had that, you know, place that was $30 million and sold for 18. You're going to see more and more stuff like this. Not everything at the Hamptons is $25 million. Remember that. You've got the beach shack that is a shack that's a million six. So remember that. Uh, final, final story. Club ZZ in New York. This is a club that's exclusive, members only club in Hudson Bay. And it's $50,000 a year to join. Why am I talking about this? Because it's preposterous right now. And their advertising pitch with this is it's $50,000 to join plus $10,000 a year. So it's $60,000 up front, but you're going to get to hang out with other founders and other people of your caliber. Okay, I can do that at McDonald's too, guys. <laughs> I mean, think about that. Okay. You know, it is considered to be 50 times more expensive than like all these other clubs out there, but 60 grand a year before you walk in there, before you buy a drink, before you do anything. But uh, needless to say, do you think things like this, I think things like this are done. I think you're going to see them, you know, slow down and close and problems, you know, happening. Just a matter of time. Hamptons are slowing down. New York City is going to slow down. Plus, who wants to go get robbed in New York City or San Francisco? They should open up a Club ZZ in San Francisco and see how well that goes over. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Again, guys, just look at business, guys. Look at your company. Look at your finances. Trim the fat, guys. Get rid of everything you don't need. Sell stuff that you don't need right now. Unload it right now because people still have a little bit of money, you know, to get rid of that stuff. If you're going to make any major purchase, 
plan it out and watch how much money you save. Onward and upward, guys. I will see you guys very soon.